Do you want to talk about the situation on Discord? Yeah, sure. Yo. Yo, what's up, Richard? Yeah, um, I have an interesting take on this whole situation. So um, All right. I think when children are being sexualized online, that's a problem. Uh, even if what it is isn't necessarily pornographic. So the stuff happens on YouTube. Um, there, there are parents that um, like sexualize their kids on their platforms to get monetization. And YouTube's cracked down on this a lot. So there were um, like family channels, quote unquote, that would do like yoga with their like, you know, five, 10 year old kids and they'd yeah, make them wear leotards, yeah. stuff like that. That's not necessarily pornographic, but it is sexualizing children. Because um, obviously the intention is to like get creeps to like it and watch it and whatever. Yeah. And I, I, I would agree with your take there. What do you think about like the jokes, though? Like the I don't know, the three thing in chat. Um, what's the three thing in chat? Have you watched this whole something about chickens video yet or? No, I, I, I watched a bit of that to catch a kick predator. I, I didn't watch the whole okay. video. Um, but I, I think people are kind of overblowing the situation a little bit because men can take their shirts off, right? Um, 10, 15 year old boys can make videos or do live streams where they don't have their shirts on. You can see their nipples. Um, I, I don't see a good argument for why um, underage Trink. girls shouldn't be able to do the, do the same thing. Uh, there's nothing really about female nipples that are unique. I think what the, the actual problem is, is that these underage girls are being sexualized on stream. It's not that what he's doing is necessarily pornographic. Do you understand what I'm um, saying? I guess at a base level, yes. But don't you think that if an underage girl has her nipples out, pedophiles are going to sexualize it no matter what? Yeah, um, you, you could say that, but you could say that about boys, too. Um, there are pedophiles who like uh, photos and videos of underage boys with their shirts off. That's true. I mean, I wouldn't really have a problem with social media banning pictures of underage boys with their shirts off, really. Yeah, I so guess I wouldn't really care. That that creates a weird problem though. Like, um, if if somebody were to say do a live stream at a beach and there were boys in the background who are maybe 10, 15 just enjoying a day at a beach, should they get banned from streaming? Um I mean, I guess you're right. It is like kind of a hard standard to enforce, but realistically, I'm just like not going to have a problem with most policy decisions that are going against fucking, you know, I understand the double standard, like the double standard you're talking about, like to an extent, but like, especially with underage girls, they're always going to be sexualized, right? Yeah. If they well, have, they have their boys are too, like, though. like, like, well, well, that's the thing. Um, we live in a culture where we're kind of obsessed with titties. Um, like all dudes love tits, but looking at it from a predator's perspective. Um, some chi like child predators like seeing shirtless boys too. So if the idea is to disincentivize creeps and pedophiles, in order to be consistent, you'd also have to ban um, the, even adults, uh, even adult men from taking their shirts off. Well, do you think that we shouldn't ban underage girls from taking their shirts off then? Um, given, so I, I think it entirely depends on context. Um, you can't control whether or not somebody is going to get horny from something. I think when somebody is actually being sexualized. Um, that's when something should be banned. So this guy who's the kick predator, oh, why don't you take our, your shirt off for us? Uh, you know, that sort of shit. He's clearly trying to sexualize these girls. Um, if you were to go to, say, a beach in Europe or something, and you were live streaming, and there were girls in the background uh, with their shirts off, that's not necessarily sexualizing. I, I think um, so. Uh, what I'm saying is the main problem here is that these underage kids are being sexualized, not necessarily that their shirts are off. I mean, I agree, 
but I still would not be comfortable with even if they're not being sexualized, like them being naked on the internet, because like it's gonna happen regardless, right? Well, it's gonna happen to you boys too. Well, in that case, like I guess I just wouldn't mind banning it altogether, like that much. I know there's double standards we run into, like we could sort that out later, but like yeah. I'm never gonna I'm never gonna be able to walk back like getting rid of shirtless underage girls. Like I'm never gonna walk that back. Like, we need to get we, I I think that needs to be god you know <laughs> sure um yeah i just don't like the I, I just don't like the double standard where guys can take their shirts off but gr- girls can't um i i don't like how we have a culture that does that sort of thing but um yeah in the interest of protecting children um sure i wouldn't be against say a blanket ban on underage kids whether they're male or female uh taking their shirts off gotcha Okay, well, I guess we're kind of in agreement there. Yeah. Then. Okay, cool.